Discover how you can create and manage your cast in Yamdu. First, to create an actor, we simply go into the actor section of the cast department. And in the pop-up window, we can enter the actor's or actress's real name or stage name and select their agency from the database if they are represented or create a new one. We can also add any additional materials such as a link to the showreel and images and files like headshots as it relates to the actor. Next, we can fill in the actor's contact information like their email address, phone numbers, and the address they'll be using during the production. And moving on to appearances and skills, we can fill in the rest of their details and select their gender, use the slider to put in an age range, and list the actor's language abilities and any talents they possess, their vocal range, and any instruments they play. Then we can define their appearance by further selecting the correct specifications from their ethnicity all the way down to facial hair selections. And we can continue to add additional information like whether or not the individual is willing to cut their hair or if they have any tattoos or piercings and if they wear glasses. And if none of the options actually applies to the actor or we want to leave specific details, we can always leave additional notes. Then we can also add personal details like information regarding their dietary requirements and restrictions like their food preferences or any list of allergies that they have. And if we already have information on the actor's measurements and clothing sizes, we can go ahead and input all that information as well. And finally, we can always add general notes as it relates to the actor. And once created, we can open up the actor's profile and edit their general information to add, remove, or change their details further. We also have the option of specifying whether or not they are a part of a union or if they're just a talent. And we can also see that any sensitive information like their contact, addresses, dietary requirements, and such will be locked and only accessible to the users with the rights to view them. And hovering the mouse over the lock will let us see who those users are. Editing the access rights will actually let us make changes to the users that have the rights to view the sensitive information. In other words, we can either grant or restrict access for them. And we can also select the option that allows them to edit information by a mere toggle. Back in the actor's profile, there are some options that allow us to add, remove, or change additional materials such as files, images, appearance and skills, sizes and measurements, notes, day out of days, contracts, links, and any off periods. Here, we can actually assign tasks that relate to the actor, leave some comments about them. Now, it's important to note that the contract section will only appear once the actor has actually been cast. And in the contract field, selecting to enter a date will automatically prompt Yamdu to add the date by which the contract was created. Selecting Contract Signed will prompt the Contractual Documents section to appear below. But if they have yet to sign a contract, then a notification will appear to remind us. All relevant contracts uploaded to the draft section will also appear under the files and documents for the cast. Here, we can view the contracts by date and download them as well. And again, we'll see an alert for contracts that require a signature from the actor or actress. Scrolling down, talents that have been entered into our database but have not been cast will appear faded and have an accompanying not fixed yet note next to their names. And finally, selecting an actor from this page will act as a quick access point to their contracts and automatically lead us back to the actor's profile. And that was a look at how to create and manage your cast members in Yamdu. We'll see you in the next tutorial.